Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. What's up, everybody? The Nintendo Beast jumping back here into Let's Play Metroid Dread here on the Nintendo Switch. Last week, uh, here on Metroid, we got stuck a bit. I mean, we did really well. We uncovered a new region, uh, but we did get stuck mostly due to um, the lack of two different types of armor in my head. Uh, heat resistant armor and an armor that or an upgrade at least an armor upgrade that would allow me to roll in ball form through narrow spaces uh, that aren't slidable so with that being said um, I think I actually I googled it and I think I actually do have to go to Kateris in order to get out of this region, and then it's going to drop me back somewhere over here, I think, or up here, or or somewhere or other, um, and, uh, and with that, we're going to be able to get this heat armor, because I don't know if it's the next armor I've got to get, but I did go as far as to Google how to get the heat-resistant armor. You garbage. Whoop -oo. Whoop -oo. Okay. So we're gonna we're just gonna roll on through here again. And uh yeah. There's just, I don't know. I mean, I, I can't, I can't imagine that this is here and it's not, you know, the right time to go here. Uh, so we're going to go here and we're going to re-explore this, this region, this new region, and see if we can find something that I may have missed last episode. Um, so, so far, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Uh, but as many other people have already explained, and I think is pretty... I, I've never been super familiar with the Metroid 2D game series. I played some of the, uh, the Metroid Prime trilogy. So, obviously, I'm, I'm really hyped for Metroid Prime 4, if that's even a real, a real thing. If that ever will become a real thing, I'm sure it will eventually. On Nintendo's time. Uh, but... Um... Yeah, like, this game is definitely one that requires you to largely figure it out for yourself. Uh, and it leaves you to your own devices, largely. Crap. Oh my god, dude. I say, I'm getting wrecked right now. So, both of these are very obviously hot, right? That's the assumption. So, maybe we have to make a break for it and run straight down. Maybe it's slightly less hot in these orange regions. These are things I don't know. We're gonna try it. Now we're dead. So that water, or that, uh, that orange region here is literally just, um, lava. Or like, yeah, hot water. It does not help you survive at all. I was going to say, I'm going to run right in here and immediately die. I have no idea what that creepy, terrifying thing was uh, that ran across... Either ran or flew across the bottom of the screen, though, either. Um, okay, so, no worries. We're just going to load right back into here. <laughs> I 
Oh, that's what it was. Okay. I'm, I was going to say, I might as well just stand here and die. Uh, so let me Google. Because. Okay. How to get the heat suit in Metroid Dread. To get the heat resistant upgrade uh, in Metroid Dread, you will need to have traveled to Katsaris region. Which we have done twice now. Um, ba -ba -ba, second area, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to work your way through this area, including the immediate starting zone that's easy to get stuck in. Are we talking about the same place? Because there's no immediate starting zone that I would consider easy to get stuck in. I mean, there's this zone, but this isn't... Uh, heading back to a Taurus via a red teleportation device. Let me, let me zoom this in. So this is... That's great and all, but it doesn't actually show you... The start of Kataris. Here's how to progress. Oh, okay! That sounds nice! <laughs> Thank you, Gfinity Sport. Or Gfinity, yeah. Gfinity Esports. You may find yourself blocked by heat zones, unable to progress. True. There's actually a hidden wall that can be broken in this area. Ooh! Where? Alright, I don't need a hidden wall that can be broken. It's not that one. Just to clarify. Is it? It's none of these, correct? Okay, where is this hidden wall that can be broken? I need to see a picture, or else it's it's not real. Let me open up. See, it doesn't help that, uh... It doesn't help that what it shows here is like an already fully unlocked map. If you could see this, it's frustrating. So I gotta kind of decode what's going on here. Okay, so... <laughs> there's this little thing, we're jigger. And it looks like there's additional room over here. No. Right here. It's right here. This is where we gotta go, I think. Uh, I think. Again, it's a really terrible looking uh, map here. <laughs> it's not super helpful. In fact, I'm not even totally sure that this is even the real thing. The real... Okay. So it should be right... Here? How do you open it, though? If this is the way in, then how do you open it? That's not real. This isn't real. You're lying to me. Gfinity Esports, I take it back. You're lying to me. <laughs> Stuck in Qatar. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. When you first arrive in Guitarist, you will have taken the elevator from Arctaria. Correct. You'll be in a purple room, with an exit near your right. Heading this way requires the various suit. You can learn more in the video. You won't have this set yet, so where do you need to go? As you can see in the screenshot above, the elevator area is highlighted in purple. Head as far left as you can go. Oh! Oh! 
Ha ha! Ha ha! Ladies and gentlemen, by go by golly, we've done it. Okay, thank you, e if, if Gfinity Esports or whatever. Wee! Oh, why is there so much fire? Like I wasn't having a hard enough time without fire being involved. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. At least it's like continuously replenishing my uh crap. My aiming is terrible. At least it's continuously replenishing my missiles though. And my health. Health, 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 health. Yay. Do we keep going down or what's what's good over here? Oh, hello. Talk to me. Yes, hello. Come in. Sam is here. Talk to me. CPR appears to be powered by thermal energy. Magma is pumped from the planet's interior and routed from there. I have located the central routing system for the magma. It is here in Cataris. Cataris, that's how you pronounce it. It's not Cataris. That'd be stupid, John. That'd be a stupid pronunciation. It's just Cataris. I'll t I will say this. For whatever reason, I have a weird... um. A weird affinity. It's not an affinity. Uh, I have a weird habit, I'll call it, of uh, wildly overpronouncing things, like things I don't know how to like say. Um, I have a weird habit of like wildly overpronouncing them. Samus, don't know why. Like I make every link, everything I say, like oh I don't know how to say that. Well, let me I so let me sound it out real quick, and then I end up making it sound significantly significantly more like exotic and whatever than it actually is. Like Kataris here on the planet of Kataris. Just kidding, it's Kataris. Significantly less uh, I don't know exciting sounding. Kataris. Anyway, Samus, your current suit cannot protect you. Uh, as you explore Cataris, the extreme heat of the lava, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the shuttle somewhere above here. Use it to find the path forward. There is one other thing to discuss. It is your new Phantom Float ability. The Phantom Float prevents the Emmy from detecting you. Thus far, your only option was to run. Now, bypassing them is also an option. Use this to reach your objective. Oh, word up, I can just hide from the Emmy. Phantom Float severely decreases your mobility and direct contact with an enemy will still result in capture. Mm -hmm. It is up to you whether to hold your position. Just be aware of your surroundings. Okay. The I mean, yeah, all that stands to reason. Once an enemy sees you, you will need to evade capture until it gives up pursuit. Got the it. The phantom float can remain active after your aim has been depleted. It will consume your life energy instead. Consider it a desperate measure. Remember, it cannot drain your energy down to nothing. Judicious use of this technique will improve your probability of survival. A lot of big words there, Adam. Yeah, save my progress. In fairness, I would have never found that without uh, the help of that Google, or without the help of Googling it. To clarify, we're not in an Emmy zone yet, are we? See that? To get into something like up there. <clears throat> Uh, I need the, the next upgrade, which will be... Boom, baby. Are these things gonna hurt me? No? Come and get it. Yeah, baby! We're on a roll now, we're getting to blasting. Okay, so there's something I can just... No? This looks so cool, but it's not actually doing anything. So I think I have to hit that from below in order to open that. What a piece of trash. Piece of garbage. What the heck was that? 
It got really close to me. That was just a nervous reaction uh, to shoot it. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to go in here, I guess. Yeah, same with that. Just, just getting lucky here. What is this? The thermal flows fuels flow has been redirected. Ah, okay. Sure. That sounds like a pleasant, uh, a pleasant change. Am I stuck here now, though, or? How do I get out? Yeah, that's problematic, though, because, you know... There's nowhere to go now. Although this thing up here is smoking. Although that doesn't mean anything. I really thought that would mean something, but it doesn't mean anything. So now mistakes were made. Seemingly, right? Oh wait, no, I gotta get the blast in that, no doubt. Yeah, now we're talking? Yeah! Getting all kinds of pressure plate thing with jigs going. Oh yeah. Okay, now we're gonna get the blast. There we go. There we go. Okay, we out. I just wanted to jump down there to kill you just for the sake of killing you. Because that's where we're at now. <laughs> See, I don't think I need to talk to this again, but I'm gonna definitely save my progress again. Just because we made some progress today. Thanks to Google, we are making some serious progress today. Get out of here. Come here, yeah, yeah. Whoa! Get wrecked. <laughs> Samus is on point today, boyos. So I can keep going down, seemingly. But I'm not 100% sure that that is the right move. I'm thinking... I don't know. These thermal flow things? Should we assume that we can go back to that now? Or I'm just going to keep going this way. Oh, got to get to the other side in order to do something with that, right? Okay, okay. So this is indeed a dead end now. Oh, crap. Whoa. Doesn't feel... Ooh, jeez. It doesn't feel like the thermal flow has changed significantly. There's a lot of fire is what I'm getting at. Crap. I don't know if I'm actually hitting anything with that. Yeah, come here. Whoa. Yeah, give me all that health. I need that. I'm not gonna go back yet. I'm going to assume... Crap, dude. These stupid things. I'm going to assume that these aren't hot anymore. I lied. Those are hot still. So I don't know... Also hot. Okay, so, yeah. So what exactly, what what exactly is the thermal, the deal with the thermal nonsense that allegedly is redirected? Let me Google it. That sounds like a logical answer, right? Okay. Let me, okay. The phone had to reload the page for some reason. Heading back to a TARS, you'll need to work your way through this area, including the immediate start area. Okay. <laughs> so let me pull up the map here. So this is a no-no area. This is a no-no zone. We don't go up there because we're not capable of going up there. Point blank. 
I don't think we can get in there yet. Uh... I'm trying to figure out where the heck I am in accordance with this map. This is a map of Art Artaria. Ar Artaria? This is not helpful, dude. Why would you show me the map of Artaria? We're not in Artaria. This is garbage. Gfinity Esports, be better. I mean, you kind of helped me on the first one, sort of, but it was just very convoluted. <laughs> I don't know where the, teleport the teleportation point is. Uh, you need to work your way through this area, including the immediate but uh, heading back to Arteris. Uh, Arteria. Arteris. Arteris? Arteria. It's Arteria. They didn't even spell this stuff right. Via a red teleportation device. <laughs> so I'm on my own here. Um, I'm looking for a red open thermal trap door, though. Oh, wait. Boom. That, that, maybe that's what happened. And I gotta go this way. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Whee! Crap. There we go. Just drop. Just drop real quick. Crap. I'm just gonna keep on running. There's no reason I need to do battle with most of those. These guys all knock out just because I hate them. Is this maybe where I'm going? Oh wait, no, this is where I this is for sure where I came from. Just to clarify. Um crap. Oh my god, this little freaking booger. Booger slug. Get the booger slug. That. What? Uh. This way? Ah, yes. Okay, you know what? Yeah, give me all the health because I'm dying. Should I press this? Is this a button to press? No? Okay. Crap. Another booger slug. As I say, we better get that thing dead because otherwise I'm gonna be the one getting dead soon. Cool. I mean, the game is pretty generous, um, just running through it. It's pretty generous with health and, uh, and missile reloads, so I can't complain there. Assuming you don't make any, like, real bad blunders along the way. Crap, ah, dude. There we go. Uh, you could pretty much remain pretty high in health and, uh, and missile ammo. the vast majority of the game. Like, right now, I'm at max capacity in both uh, health and missiles. I don't know, dude. Should I go down here? Crap, that one was bad. I get overwhelmed very easily when I start seeing more than one... Uh... Oh, jeez. When I start seeing more than one target coming at me, that was a waste of time. Okay. Just wanted to clarify that. But when I see more than one of those stupid flying things coming at me, uh, my timing goes just completely, it just goes, <laughs> period, there's no, it just goes haywire. Okay, so I'm not going through that way, that's a thermal vent, obviously, right? Boom, baby. And also, oops. That's another thermal door, right? <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna slide through all these. Uh, what is this? 
Oh, okay. Are you kidding me? Sliding. Okay, so we're sliding through there again. Lots of sliding action. So we're making some good progress here. In Kataris. Sorry, Kataris. Not... Not Kataris. Not Kataris. Um... So those mu that must be some kind of new door entirely. Every time I feel like every single time I make it, I get a cool upgrade. I'm just like, oh my god, so many like so many doors are probably gonna open with this now. Um, I immediately remember. Oh my god, dude, I'm dead. I immediately remember. Um, either I either discover a new door type that I can't open yet, I need to keep going to get that, or I remember all the freaking um, doors of that new type that I still I had to go back for. And it's just really overwhelming, to be honest. Another booger slug. To clarify, oh my god, dude. How much did it undo? Okay, so I did all that. Crap. So it, it undid pretty much all the progress I just made. Booger slug. Come here. Yeah, come over here. I can get the blast in you. Crap. Now we're getting there. I'm not gonna leave. I'm not gonna do screw this up again. just like that in like 10 seconds in like 10 seconds time we're back to where we were oh yeah definitely use missiles on them makes for a much easier time for sure is that an emmy zone that i'm about to wander into all lacklustery and whatnot no dude no dude Please give me a checkpoint or something. I can't redo that again. Oh, it's a green boy! We got the Incredible Hulk at me up in here. Oh, good. Yeah, be gone. Creepy crawly. Just kidding. That's, that, that's not the Incredible Hulk color. That's like... That's like Emmy sponsored by Mountain Dew. That's what that one is. I don't like this, dude. I don't like my odds uh, in this region. I'm trying to scope out exactly. Oh, Jesus. Skirt! Okay. Hey, is it going to be right in here? Probably. Uh. My cat is like... I don't know what this is all about. It can't see me though, right? Oh, okay. They went away. Or is, like, actively going away? No, dude. No, dude. Yeah. Is 
because I can't get through that door, I don't think. Okay. I mean, being able to hide from it is definitely a game changer. Oh, God. What is that nonsense? I'm just looking for a checkpoint, dude. Like somewhere I can save my progress. And I'm hoping that's gonna come before I die. Yeah, let me just climb over here. This is terrifying, dude. This is like really, really grade A dread. Oh, thank the good lord. The thermal fuels flow has been redirected. Okay, I don't know what that means. Can I just save my freaking progress yet though? Oh yeah, is this a, is this a checkpoint? We're gonna save our progress. Okay. Ner another nerve-wracking Mountain Dew uh, sponsored Emmy Zone. <laughs> so with that, that is what we'll sign off this week. We made it through the Emmy Zone, and we're we're on our way. Uh, we're we're really getting yeah. We're making progress here in Cataris, um, and I'm excited. Maybe next episode we should get the, the thermal suit or the uh, the heat resistant suit. I'm thinking that upgrade. We'll see. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe here uh, to the channel here on YouTube. And make sure to ring that bell for notifications for when I do live streams here on the channel every single month. And when I upload new video content such as this, new episodes of Let's Play Metroid Dread on the Nintendo Switch. I upload new videos every single weekday, Monday through Friday, every single week. So you definitely want to be subscribed and receiving notifications for all that good stuff. Make sure to smash the like button on this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below. But until next time, I am the Nintendo Beast. Thank you so much for watching.